Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about our new warehouse for GPU mining. We're gonna be mining with 3080s. And we're gonna be mining Ethereum, Ravencoin, and all other types of altcoins. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Don't forget to go to our other social media accounts like Gab, Parler, Minds, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so on. Subscribe to those channels. We'll be putting out our videos on there. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm, if you're looking for, to invest with us, we have a new opportunity to invest where you would buy one rig with us. We would uh, set up that rig, manage that rig, and we could start off at just that 25K per rig. So if you think that's interesting, go to CryptoLLC.org and send us an email. Or if you're looking for ASIC mining, also go to CryptoLLC.org. So what do we have for today? We are planning out our racks so we're gonna have the same type of racks as you watched our previous videos. We have those same racks placed here in these little rectangles. What we're gonna run is we're gonna run five rigs on each platform. So you can imagine that's like one platform, two platform, third platform, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'd be nine times five. So that's 45. So you're gonna have 45 rigs. Now, how big is a rig? A rig is 14 GPUs running B250s, i7, 7700, eight gigs of RAM, actually uh, 16 gigs of RAM. We're gonna be running it in here. So you can imagine how tall that's gonna be. It's, uh, it's about like nine feet tall, I think. If you watch our previous videos, we also have some locations where we have five rigs. It's about nine feet tall, it's gonna turn out. So it's pretty tall. You need a little ladder to get the, the last uh, fifth rig. All right, in terms of airflow, here's our airflow right there. So the air will be coming in just through this one garage door opening. And uh, we're gonna build out a little top section. You can imagine there's like about a top section about this big, you know, like three feet or like four feet tall. Um, at the very top where we're gonna have um, a created like a, a pressurized system here where the hot air will then get sucked out there. And if that doesn't do the job, we will install uh, fans at the top over there to help the air escape. Now, in terms of our gear, our equipment that we need, we're gonna be running a lot of conduits for all those. Here's uh, some stuff, just, just some preliminary stuff we brought over here. Here's where our, our router here. Uh, we need this because the modem from Comcast doesn't handle more than, uh, I think it was 40 Wi-Fi connections at once. So we need to get a, a special router that actually handles more than that. Then we are gonna be running off of 20 amp breakers, a couple of 40 amp breakers. We have a couple of uh, 24 port uh, switches there. So that should handle basically um, the current setup here, should handle it. And uh, so we're getting started. Now in terms of racks, actually skip the racks. So in terms of racks, we're just running these guys here, this standard uh, heavy duty rack. Uh, we, buy those, we buy these at Costco. So you can go to Costco and get them, they're like a hundred bucks each uh, package. And we need uh, three packages to build one platform. So you need three of them to build one platform. It's pretty tall. So that's what we're running for our racks. All right, here's our other tiny little rack. We're gonna, this is how we run our PC, like a remote, you know, diagnostics system. So when you first boot up our PC, uh, or let's say we just built a rack, I mean a rig, 14 GPU rig, and we wanna log into it so we can change the PC name and then change um, some other settings in there so we can remote desktop into it. We need to have a PC that connects uh, to the HDMI cable on the motherboard so we can get access to the motherboard, to the uh, BIOS and actually go in there and change the settings to turn on AC power and to turn off the audio um, enableization in the BIOS. So we're gonna turn that off as well and turn on the AC power. So we need a rig and that's what we run. That's why we have that guy right there. So we'll put a, a monitor on it, put an HDMI cable on it, power, all that stuff. You can see the monitor right over there. So that's how we kind of go around. Let's just imagine like you're at a hospital, you have one of those nurses, you know, pulling around a machine as she uh, checks things, you know, by, uh, checks vitals. We have the same thing, we check the vitals of the PC if we want to get into the BIOS. All right, so we're gonna be building this out. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. We're gonna be posting more videos as we slowly build it out. Um, as we start drilling uh, and installing our, uh, what are they called, L-shape brackets. I don't know what they're called, but they're four foot brackets that we put that hold the actual GPUs. So we're gonna be 
uh, screwing those onto our uh, racks here. And then slowly going to be pulling conduits. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you don't miss any of our videos. So hit the bell, hit subscribe, all that stuff. And again, if you're looking for someone to manage GPU or ASIC for you, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, and we'll get back to you. That's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.